One hand always under the neck. And then one hand on the body. Oh, wait, hey, God, you've killed your baby. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Hold his neck. I really want dads to be a lot more involved in their baby's lives right from conception. So my name's Tolokwe Adeleke Aire. Um, everyone knows me as Tolu the midwife. In Nigeria, I find that the dads are not really included. Like, who thinks about the dad? So, why don't we bring the dads on board, make it a holistic experience? So that's the drive behind um, dads antenatal classes. So the contractions then push. Sorry, sis. So I say, hi, Faith. I'm just going to change your nappy. And then you take off, as you take off the straps. I'm really excited to see how men are with changing nappies, buffing the baby. I'm sure many of them have never ever buffed a baby. I follow up with all of them to see, have you delivered? How was the delivery? Were you there? Did you make it? What was your experience? So you make sure the back of the nappy is high enough. Now let's assume we are not at home. Yes. We are in the function, shop, maybe in the party or something. Yes. Now, are we going to do all this paparazzi? No. <laughs> so it's the exact same thing. But it will just make it slightly harder if you're out. So you stabilize your baby on your leg. Exact same thing. To tell me to go antenata, to start betting a child, I don't think I will do it. In my own place, you know, man, not the bet child. It is only women, it is women duty. I don't feel I've yet understood how the Nigerian man thinks. Because if I understand how a Nigerian man thinks, I will tap into that and drag them all to my class. That's it. Not on the face. Uh, this is a newborn delicate baby. When you start doing this, do you know there's a risk of fracture? My mom does it too. None of other stuff. Please. No, please. So the most surprising thing about the class was some of the traditional things that they do, like putting engine oil on a baby's cord. It was also very surprising that a lot of people believe exclusive breastfeeding means adding water. So that was quite surprising, but it gives me some insight into why we have such high malnutrition. Although some people go say and say, for men to they go at an attack with tumor, nursing, I've been a bad thing. But as for me, you oh know, I mean, I, I like I'm a feed one, and I did do one. I don't think they're fully ready, because if that's how people change, it would be amazing. The world would be a better place in like a day. I feel that over time, there will be some things they've learned from the class that they will take on board and practice. So I want it to be a norm that men and women are pregnant together and going for all the checks and everything together.